in utero, the baby hears the mother's voice more than any other, of course. It's amplified through the amniotic fluid. It is transmitted. We went through a period of time about 20 years ago with, I think it was called the Mozart effect, where you played the music um, to the, the developing baby in utero, and you could actually detect when you did ultrasounds that there would be changes in ambient movement. Uh, we've had music therapists come into the NICU for in some NICUs for the last 20, 25 years, um, encouraging families to play very soft and soothing music. We have parents, especially the mother, record their voice and put that uh, tape that we can play over and over to the baby that acts as a calming influence. What do you see from the baby when you play a quiet, soft, uh, almost tranquil music? Um, ocean sounds sometimes or the mother's voice, you see the relaxation of the baby. You see the baby's oxygen saturations go up generally. Um, there's always a chance that a baby will be bothered by the sound. So one of the things that we have learned over time is the baby's our best instrument to tell us whether it's working or not working.